Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the VFX showdown and welcome back to the another after effect tutorial so this is going to be a quick tutorial to show you the how to create the scan effect in live action footage let me show you the quick example of this uh, mouse so as you see so this is basically the motion graphics scan as you see very simple to do but the challenge is camera is moving and we need to track or rotor rotoscope the footage so we're going to show you the my technique how i do that you can do the camera track but i'm doing in after effect with rotoscope technique but slightly different okay so let's jump into the after effect and show you the technique okay so let me close so as you see this is my comp very nice and as you see this is the five scan so all are same as you see boom the mouse is still there but these are just masks if i show you ctrl shift h we just hide it so as you see these are the masks so let me show you the technique so let's create a new composition for that footage drag into the composition section and make sure is the depth is 32 bit so this is okay and let me just cut where i want so this area and i think this one so just a tutorial purpose we're not doing a whole rotoscope we just rotoscope a part of the mouse something uh, i think this is this one you have a uh, several option to rotoscope you, you can get the roto brush as you see right here or you can grab a mask and draw uh, like this and then jump into the tracker if you not have the window go into the window and choose the tracker I press m to none the mask and then you can track select the mask and you can you have the option to position and scale rotation and simply press start to track the footage but we don't want that this is this is not a good option to rotoscope and rotor brush also do a better but in this case as you see we have a several matching colors as you see so rotor brush is not a good so what we're going to do we track this footage in mocha so you think where we need to buy a mocha no way don't worry after you have a mocha built in called mocha ae so select that footage first and go into the animation and as you see camera track mocha so track in mocha ae select that and this will open a mocha for after effect and don't worry we just show you how to track basics so this is not a complex software this is very easy like uh, after effect so as you see the new project automatically pop up so this is the name and the frame rate start to end and the my and make sure the frame rate is matched to your footage so go into the after effect first and see the footage frame rate as you see 24.231 so we need to change that so we can't change so let's close this one and pre-compose the footage first compose move all attributes footage comp and then go into this composition setting composition setting and as you see 24 frame select 24 only so we don't want point number and then select that footage go into animation another option you can do select that footage right click and interpolation main and you can change here so let me change 24 frame per second only dude come on 24 frame then i think no we can't do this with, with pre-comp we need to select a footage so this will have 24 
go into animation track in mocha mocha is the best for tracking rotoscoping and mocha have se several more features so but in this uh, mocha for ae we have some limitation okay so okay oh we have already so let me change the name something and then press ok and as you see we have the footage as you see the two red bar because we crop the footage so fill this in entire com we need to click that one as you see click and we have full length in the timeline with the seconds and first thing first we need to select the part where the mouth is clear so i think right here and select the x plane as you see this one here the x and click on it and we have the selection and if you press z press and hold z and click mouse and drag you can actually zoom and x and mouse click you can actually move so let me draw a shape very tight let me zoom and click 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 and click click just click and draw a x plane shape around your object i think this is good click click and click 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 we just need a border to be perfect right we don't want the inside so this will this is okay i think and first in the go into the motion section and as you see we have a whole option they we want all of them perspective because my camera is moving in 3d space and minimum pixel we need to make a 90 because we want accurate as possible and let's zoom out a little bit okay let's zoom out slightly and then as you see we have option select that layer and we have option stabilize once you do that we can see the tracker and the track will not move okay let me show you what i mean if i play if i start to track as you see track forward and backward so first we're going to backward and then forward let's track backward mocha is analyzing frame by frame and we have a perfect result so as you see my track is not moving so we can see the where the spline is going as you see so right now it's perfectly tracking as you see but we can change these splines if they slightly move okay so we track backward and we now need a forward so as you see nicely track so go into that keyframe and track forward the nice thing about mocha we you have a flexibility to do anything so let me show you first uh, the track will be finished and then we can dive into the mocha settings okay so tracking is finished and as you see where i start it will create a keyframe like we did in after effect so as you see the shape is slightly moving so let me zoom and position and so right here we need to adjust the shape just click and once you do that you can see the another keyframe will be generate so like after effect and as you see i think uh, here also we need to fix and let's check if this okay and here also inside like that okay so now we have a perfect track so let's track this one this wire so you think this is this will be hard to track so as you see the mocha create a layer like after effect so this is the first layer so we don't want to track this layer again so what you're going to do is this is the gear option turn this on off and this lock press the lock so this layer will be locked and we can't move so grab another x plane and zoom in and just draw a shape and by the way when you finish uh, just right click on shape and this will be end uh, shape okay something like this and perspective 90 percent 
and let's drag forward so as you see the wire is so small but mocha will drag this perfectly as you see the shape is not moving at all it just stick okay as you see the shape now is moving so don't worry just grab the whole shape no just grab the points and move them and then track again okay so now track is done so let's create another keyframe where this will to fix so let me move this shape over here keyframe over here actually this will stick pretty well so we just adjust where i need to be so i think this will okay okay so now we have two things so let me log this one first as you see we have two track shape layer or explain or anything you called so we need to get this in after effect so select anyone and as you see we have in motion section as you see export data we have two option export data and export shape data so we need a shape data click on shape data and we have option we only have ae because this is the ae version so all visible layer so this will select all visible layer and then simply click on this uh, copy to clipboard so this will copy in our clipboard and jump into the after effect and first let's create a new solid so we can manage the uh, mask so create a solid doesn't matter go into the first frame and then go into the edit paste mocha mask boom as you see now we have the mask perfectly track let me play so as you see we have a mask oh wait a minute and then we have the mask as you see in this solid perfectly track so let's me make a white okay and then as you see if i play you can see the mask will move okay so we have the basic track so let's create the scan effect as you see this one create another composition called is scan ae so we can identify easily so let's grab the shape layer rectangle and create something like this and move the anchor point to the middle and we have the one shape layer so let's duplicate three you can duplicate many as you want select all and press p for position and keyframe all of them and move all to the side and go into the three second and move the one by one to the another side so we have this animation so all i need to do just offset the keyframes so select and let me offset something like this and let's collapse and let's create a adjustment layer and add a another cool effect called turbulent displays so you guys you know the turbulent turbulent displays drag and drop to the adjustment layer and right away you can see the what is going on okay so let's increase the complexity to and the noise scale i think first let's change the color of the solid okay so we have three colors nice and all oh, this is transparency obviously okay so let's go into the footage com and the scan drag under that it just track mat and i think the alpha mat 
the alpha man as you see now this will move as you see so all i need to do just add a glow and change the blending mode also the add so we can see through okay and let's increase the glow radius 15 i guess and threshold 50 so we have nice glow all around i don't know why this is not playing work area i think okay so now as you see we have this motion let me isolate b and also we need score n so if i play you can see this will perfectly track almost there so if we jump into the section as you see we need to adjust the scale i think scale amount and the glow so we have this animation so spend a bunch of time to create that effect so this is the weird stuff so guys hope you like this video so you can create your own like that as you see in my main composition we create a bunch of these lines let me show you again this is so what i do in here we just apply just pre-compose and then apply glow inside and then in the main we just simply add and the opacity is 50 if i 100 you can see this is too bright so we just decrease the brightness the 50 percent and then this will be on you can track the footage in after effect but uh, i think the rotoscope is better but you need a perfect rotoscope something like this so you can see the edges is perfect let me change this to full as you see the perfect edge and the wire also so the mocha is the best for rotoscoping in my opinion so i like the mocha okay so guys hope you enjoyed this video please give a like and subscribe oh god so thank you for watching please do a like subscribe and we will catch in a very next one have a great day